Has it ever happened to you? I mean, for me, whenever I go to a restaurant and there are too many things or choices on the menu, I get overwhelmed and I'm like, I don't know what to choose. And I start asking people what they're eating because I want to feel inspired. Well, it's exactly the same thing with your business. Today, I'm going to tell you how many offers you should have in your coaching business to be efficient, especially when you're starting out. Hi, high achiever. I'm Fabienne Raphael, and I'm here to help you monetize your knowledge so you could fire your boss. And today, I will tell you about how many offers you should have in your coaching business, especially when you're starting out. So, first of all, what's an offer? Maybe you don't know what it is. An offer is something that you craft out of what your potential client wants to achieve. So, for example, if the person wants to get clients, right? So you craft an offer that will have a specific framework for the person to go from no clients to many clients, for example, okay? If the person wants to lose 50 pounds and you know how to do it because you have a very specific framework again, then you craft an offer for that person to have that 50 pounds overweight to be down 50 pounds in a very specific way. So that's an offer and That offer not necessarily need to be very um, complicated, but it needs to be results driven because the more that you do that, the more people are going to appeal with this offer and the more they tend to do business with you because it's very specific. So the price, okay, that's a huge, huge topic. And I feel that I could do a whole video about pricing your offer, but let's say for now, we'll say this, when you price your offers, Well, try to price it out of the transformation that you will provide for your clients. So if it has to do with the person feeling trapped in their lives or extremely shy and I don't know, doesn't want to go out, can't act with people socially, um, freaks out anytime there's a crowd and whatsoever. And then you're able to give them that freedom, that confidence to get out of their homes and interact with people and have a bunch of friends and have a healthy relationship with people, then that's a huge transformation. So depending on how long and what are the specifics of your offer, It could be priced from, I don't know, $500 to $10,000. What does it mean to the person that you're serving to have that transformation in their lives? And that's why I love to say that when you're coaching business, well, you're in the business of changing lives, literally. I remember having a client when I started working with him, everything was extremely complicated in his head and he wanted to accomplish a gazillion things at the same time. He was still at his job and his focus was not necessarily right because he was sometimes frustrated at the job, but then he knew that he wanted to accomplish all these things and he was extremely overwhelmed. And at the time he had a lot of problems focusing on only one thing. And nowadays that person is a full-time business owner and he was able with help of my guidance to subtract all these things that are unnecessary in his life to make sure to focus all this energy on this thing that will help him lead himself to be a full-time business owner and have clients and make money out of his zone of expertise. So you see me coming here maybe. I've told you that um, I'm a simplicity person. I hate complex. I hate it when gurus say, well, you need a gazillion funnels in order to function and uh, Well, you could definitely have a six figure business without any website and just starting out your coaching business and have a few clients. If you concentrate on having high end offers, this is extremely possible. There's a huge difference with how many offers you need to sell. If you have a $10,000 offer versus if you have a $47 offer, it's going to be more of an effort to reach out and to convert more and more people into your offer. You will need more clients if let's say your your goal is to make a six figure business. So to answer the big question of this video, how many offers should I have at my coaching business? Well, only one offer is enough. One, only one offer and one high end offer is enough for marketing. Okay. And let me tell you why. 
because when you concentrate only on one offer, well, it's easier for you to make, let's say, social proof about the fact that it's working, or it's easier for you to prove the concept, right? Give results to your people because you're able to adjust and tweak and, and, and really make it the best possible for you to get the results that you expect and the results that you deserve and that your client deserves. So one offer is enough. And especially if you have a high-end offer, what you can do is actually segment that offer into several smaller offers, right? Because let's say you have a $10,000 offer and then you're on the sales call and the person is not ready to invest $10,000. Well, if you have that specific framework and it has like four or five steps, well, you could actually isolate one segment of that offer and really provide it to that person for a lower price than $10,000. So you still keep that person in your, in your list of clients you give them value, you give them results, and then of course they are motivated after to get to the next step with you and keep investing with you because they know that you could get them results. So that's simple. Again, is it easy? Not necessarily because it has to do with research, implementation, being sure that you're filling the gap for your potential client and all that stuff but it's really, really important that you understand if you focus on having one high end offer, especially when you're starting out, getting to your six figure business while you're still at your job is extremely possible. And it might even make you quit that job faster and fire your boss before they have that opportunity to tell you, you know what? It's your last day today at this job. So, in the next video, I want to share with you the top myths about growing your coaching business. And yeah, stay tuned because this is funny. This is funny. The myths, I love them. And I know that you will too. And I will just break that down for you. So see you in the next one.